what is the destiny of non-believers. According to Christ's teaching, who revealed the truth, um, he taught us that he is Christ himself. It's the only door of heaven. It's the only way to live forever happily. And having a real relationship with God, the source of life, you will live forever. If you don't want any relationship with God, who is the source of real life, you will not enjoy the real life. So it's like a deal. It's very logic and very reasonable. So for the non-believers, God, you know, show himself to them with many ways. He speaks in their heart. He speaks in the nature. He speaks with the believers living around them. He speaks in their history in many circumstances, using many tools of, of telling them the truth. But if they kept themselves away from God in the non-believing side and resist all the truth, they choose to be away from life. So the fate of non-believers is not eternal life. It's life in darkness, which is like hell and Hades. And that's the teaching of the church. And they are responsible for their salvation or for their bad ending. Because it's not the will of God, but the will of man. The will of God is the salvation of everyone. And he showed it by many ways. He created man to live forever. And he came to save man and it cost him a lot. So the will of man against the will of God, then the end result is the responsibility of man. So for the destiny of non-believers, actually there is no salvation for non-believers. And if you believe that these people are doing some good things, According to the teaching of the Bible, there is no good one. There is no perfect one but Christ. All men had done bad things and all men are in corruption. So the end of corruption is eternal, eternal, you know, darkness. So we cannot just, because we love the non-believers, simply think that they may have different destiny. Actually, if we lo love them, we have to work hard to tell them the truth and to help them to know God and eternal life in the real context of truth.